This video focuses on the current voltage or the IB characteristics of a silicon PV cell. Uh, we will develop these IB characteristics based on the PV cell model that we, that we covered in an earlier video. And uh, specifically on the IV characteristics, we will look at uh, two important points, namely the short circuit current and the open circuit voltage. Okay, so this is the single diode based uh, model that we developed for a PV cell uh, in an earlier video called the PV cell model. So essentially the, uh, the incident photons or the light energy creates uh, these charge carriers or the electron hole pairs and the uh, PN junction uh, collects these charges and separates them uh, so that the current flow in the external circuit is enabled and it also by the process of photovoltaic effect also creates the forward bias voltage. Okay, so this leads to the uh, single diode model as shown here. So the um, photon generated current is modeled by a current source I photon. Um, part of that current is diverted into this um, uh, forward biased uh, diode and um, uh, and the remaining comes out to the external circuit and we also model the parasitic resistances the R shunt representing the leakage current and the RES the series resistance which um, accounts for the physical resistances in the uh, contacts and uh, as well as as well as in the um, semiconductor layers so therefore the final external current I is the I photon minus the diode current minus the small current into the uh, shunt resistance and with the uh, diode current given by this uh, Shockley expression, the total external current comes out to be I photon minus uh, this part being the diode current minus the current through the shunt resistance, which is the voltage at the uh, at the diode, which is um, external voltage V plus I R S that divided by the R shunt gives this uh, leakage current. So here uh, Q is the electron charge, the K is the Boltzmann ca constant, T is the temperature in Kelvin and A is the ideality factor that um, we discussed earlier. So the uh, IV characteristics therefore is uh, simply the plot of uh, this equation. Um, so essentially what we do is uh, we sweep this uh, external voltage V from 0 to a maximum value and at each voltage point we get the corresponding uh, external current I and that forms the IV characteristic of this uh, PV cell. So let's look at the um, the diode current uh, separately at first. Now VD is the uh, forward bias voltage. Uh, so in a regular diode, this is an externally applied forward bias voltage, whereas in a PV cell, this is actually created um, by the photovoltaic effect. Uh, so regardless, the equation is the same, and um, and note the direction of the current ID in the diode. Now for values of VD, um, for low values of VD, close to zero or even negative. The uh, diode current is simply the dark saturation current. Um, it's a very low value, depends on the temperature. So it's in the order of um, a few nano amperes or a few tens of nano amperes. And as the voltage increases, uh, especially closer to about uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 volts, the current rises uh, uh, very rapidly, exponentially. Okay, so this is indicated in this uh, plot here and um, uh, this point is around uh, 0.6 volts. So essentially as uh, VD um, increases and goes uh, well above uh, what we call as the, the thermal voltage, the thermal voltage VT is really this uh, AKT over Q. Okay. Uh, so as uh, V sub D is um, much larger than VT, then the exponential term dominates and uh, the current rises um, um, very rapidly. Now, in a PV applications, obviously, uh, we are interested in the external current I, and uh, for the no light condition, as, il as illustrated in this uh, figure, the um, external current I is simply the negative of this um, diode current. Therefore, I is minus ID, and the plot or the IV characteristic at no light condition is simply the negative of this uh, first plot, okay? uh, as, uh, as shown here. So that is the uh, no light or the dark IV characteristic and uh, as we begin to uh, illuminate the uh, PV cell um, uh, with sunlight, the um, uh, now we have the other component which is the I photon, the, the other current source. 
therefore the external current i is now i photon minus the original diode current id okay. so as the um, uh, sunlight irradiance um, uh, begins to be applied you can see the um, uh, because of this i photon component the iv characteristics becomes uh, something like this so there is a positive current in the uh, in the external circuit uh, in this direction and as i increase the elimination or the irradiance further the um, the current level goes higher and higher and um, this probably corresponds to the um, uh, the maximum irradiance uh, and this is the corresponding iv characteristic of a single pv cell okay oh, let me run this again so this is the uh, dark or no light iv characteristic as i increase the uh, irradiance the uh, corresponding iv characteristics is like this um, uh, some medium level of irradiance this is the iv characteristic and for the maximum irradiance uh, this is the final iv plot okay and uh, finally we can add the uh, effect of the uh, series on the shunt resistances and uh, we get this complete iv characteristic of a pv cell a single cell under a given irradiance and uh, under a given temperature okay uh, so the series and the shunt resistances do have some effect but it, as you can see from the plot and, um, and by the way this plot is uh, obtained by the actual simulation uh, of the uh, of the equation for the pv cell model that i showed in the earlier slide with uh, realistic values of shunt and series resistances so as you can tell from the plot the iv characteristics are really dominated by the diode characteristics that we looked at in the previous uh, slide um, so, so in this uh, IV characteristics, I want to highlight uh, two important points. The first one is called the short circuit current or ISC. And this is the current when the voltage is zero. And, um, and the other point is the, um, uh, when the current is zero, then this is the maximum voltage uh, and that's called the open circuit voltage VOC. Okay. So ISC is the maximum current that we can get from the PV cell. And VOC is a maximum voltage that we can get from the PV cell. And um, uh, as you can see from the plot, these do not happen simultaneously. So the current uh, starts at the maximum value and uh, at, at zero voltage and uh, fairly constant at low voltages. And uh, beyond about 0.45 for this particular cell, uh, it begins to drop rapidly and uh, reaches uh, zero at the open circuit voltage. So uh, we are interested in um, getting the maximum power from the PV cell and uh, the maximum power happens uh, somewhere in this region where, the, um, where there is a high current as well as a high voltage. Uh, in fact, um, uh, many of the, um, um, the MPPD, the maximum power tracking algorithms that we will be studying in later videos, um, they try to operate exactly at this point where the power, the product of the voltage and the current is at its uh, maximum. Okay, so let's uh, briefly discuss about this uh, short circuit current ISC. So this is the current, um, as the name suggests, when the, um, the terminals are shorted, therefore the V is uh, zero. And, uh, and we, as mentioned, this is the maximum possible current from the PV cell. Now for low values of RS, so it's um, typically that is the case, the um, short circuit current ISC is exactly equal to this um, the photon current that we modeled as this current source. Okay. So that is because if RS is small and if this terminal is shorted, then the voltage across the diode is also is, is very small. But if RS is larger, then RS times I is the voltage at this point and there will be some diode current. Okay. So typically RS is very small. So um, under um, um, short circuit condition, the short circuit current is entirely this photon current with the diode voltage and therefore the diode current being uh, very close to zero. Okay. Now, what are all the factors that determine the value of the short circuit current? So obviously the, um, the solar irradiance level, the brightness of the sun applied to the PV cell, uh, as well as the spectrum of the light, the, uh, the components at uh, various wavelengths uh, also determines the, um, the short circuit current. So the, uh, the data sheets will specify the short circuit current under uh, standard test conditions, STC, uh, which is um, uh, 1000 watts per square meter uh, 
uh, irradiance level and an air mass of uh, 1.5 uh, which is related to the to the spectrum of light okay. then the short circuit current um, depends on the size um, specifically the area of the solar cell and to give some rough values uh, in commercial silicon cells the short circuit current is in the order of um, about 30 milliamperes per square centimeter and finally the short circuit current certainly depends on the characteristic of the material used in the PV cell okay and uh, for modeling purposes which is what as uh, power systems or power electronics engineers we are mostly interested in so for modeling we can um, um, use the ISC or we can consider the short circuit current to be um, linearly proportional to the irradiance level and um, the the impact of the temperature on the short circuit current uh, is uh, is negligible uh, it has a positive temperature coefficient but a very small value it just changes by 0 0.05 percent uh, for every degree Celsius increase in the temperature therefore we'll just uh, um, from the data sheet we can get the short circuit current under one particular irradiance level at the STC and then we'll just scale it by the irradiance that is measured or uh, that is known under which we want the the model to be um, established and we just ignore the effect of the temperature okay, so the next point is the open circuit voltage and as the name indicates the um, this is the voltage when the terminals are open circuited and this is also the maximum possible voltage from the PV side now the VOC the open circuit voltage depends on the quality of the material uh, specifically the value of the dark saturation current IO so the lower the value of IO higher the quality and higher the VOC and we can actually show this from our basic uh, PV cell model now if you neglect the resistances then the VI uh, equation is uh, sh as shown here the photon current minus the diode current and since the shunt resistance is neglected there is no leakage current component in this equation okay. now uh, by definition um, in, in open circuit I is 0 because the terminals are open circuited the current is 0 and therefore the I uh, here is 0 and then I can take the IO to this side and therefore um, the I photon over IO is simply this exponential term minus 1 now, now I can take the 1 to the right hand side so this becomes plus 1 here and then I will take the natural log on both sides so log this quantity is equal to log of uh, this quantity here and I end up um, having this BOC to be equal to all of these terms AKT over Q times log of um, both of these terms together okay. so clearly we can see the uh, impact of IO on BOC so uh, lower the value of IO higher is on this term and higher is the open circuit voltage Okay. now we know that the IO is a strong function of the temperature and therefore VOC is also uh, highly temperature dependent now to give some typical values for um, um, the open circuit voltage in a polycrystalline commercial PV cells it is about um, 600 millivolts per cell or 0.6 volts per cell and uh, a key uh, point to understand um, uh, about the open circuit voltage is its a uh, very strong temperature dependency okay. so it has a very high negative temperature coefficient uh, for again for commercial uh, PV cells it's uh, about negative 0.35 percent um, so it, it decreases by 0.35 percent for every degree Celsius or in terms of uh, actual volts it decreases by 2.2 um, millivolts for every degree Celsius rise in the temperature Now this has uh, several important implications. Uh, first, on the efficiency or the uh, or the energy output for a given uh, solar irradiance. So the energy output actually comes down with increasing temperature. And the second implication is in the um, the number of cells or uh, number of cells that can be connect connected in series uh, without violating the maximum voltage um, uh, ratings of uh, of a panel. So, so the, the implication is in the colder environment as the open circuit voltage inc uh, increases with the decrease in the temperature um, what is the maximum number of uh, PV panels that can be connected in series for example 
and uh, finally the um, uh, the dependence of the BOC on the solar irradiance again is not uh, is not very significant. It actually increases with the irradiance, but uh, not by much. Okay, then uh, in the next slide we we'll look at the um, IV characteristics under different um, solar irradiance conditions, different temperatures, and different values of um, the series and the shunt resistance, as well as the um, ideality factor.